Hi, this is Justin Hansen, Senior Technical Consultant with Infront Consulting Group. Today I'd like to demonstrate for you an automated solution that we've developed that's going to allow you or users within your organization to onboard new users as they're hired. Typically in today's process, this involves hiring the new user and manually collecting that information. This task is often performed by management or HR. We then leverage that information to perform multiple tasks in order to onboard that new user, such as creating their Active Directory account, provisioning their Exchange mailbox so that they're able to send and receive email, other HR-related tasks, such as filing their tax or government-related information, and any other activities that might be necessary for your organization, such as provisioning a new workstation for this user prior to their arrival. Of course, these tasks utilize human resources, that of which is prone to human error, and often results in lack of time or readiness, meaning by the time the new user arrives on their first day of work, oftentimes their system isn't prepared or their account information isn't available, thus limiting the user's ability to start working day one. With our solution, it involves hiring the new user and collecting their information, importing that information into a single source. This way we're able to perform all the necessary tasks required for onboarding the new user using a single source of data. Approval steps are optional. In today's demo we will be using an approval step, however, the approval will be automatic. This is to demonstrate where one might want this approval to be placed within the activity workflow, which we'll be taking a look at shortly. This process involves multiple automated activities which leverage the single source data, such as creating an Active Directory account for that user, provisioning their Exchange mailbox, performing any other HR-related tasks, such as filing their tax or government information appropriately, and any other activities that might be necessary for your organization, such as provisioning a new workstation for the user or sending out documents to the user, such as IT usage policies. Of course, this solution is fully automated using a single source data, which means we're able to perform these tasks while significantly reducing the chance of error and the time it takes to perform each one of them. Not to mention the resources that are required are significantly reduced as well. So why don't we go ahead and look at a demo of the, our solution. I'm going to jump over into our service manager environment. And as you can see here, I'm currently using the Searson self-service portal, which has been customized with our in-front branding. And I will go over to service catalog. And if we go further down here to new user onboarding request, we'll go ahead and submit one of those. So as you can see here, I'm presented with our form which is where I would be entering the user's information. Again, this could either be myself, management, or HR themselves performing this task. So we'll go ahead and enter the user's information. Name Ryan Frost. And the user's job title will be an analyst working in the IT operations department. We'll go ahead and select his location, which will be New York and the user's manager, which will be myself, Justin Hansen. Further down the form, we can see the request for an employee tax form. We'll go ahead and attach that. Of course, we can attach any other documents that might be necessary, as well as create additional fields that might be necessary for your organization. Not to mention, we could also potentially predefine the fields such as employee department, similarly to what we have done for the job title which means we, we significantly reduce the chance of error in terms of department name and provide consistency throughout the environment as well. We'll go ahead and save this request and it looks like it's been submitted under SR3548. So right now what's happening is that that request has been submitted via the Searson self-service portal. Uh, we should find that request in our service manager console. If I hop in there and just do a refresh, there it is. So this request is now being processed and what's going to happen is that 
there are two activities in this particular request. One is the approval, which again is automatically approved in this case. And the second is to actually onboard the user and provision their account mailbox and it perform any other tasks that might be necessary. So if I go ahead and load up this service request work item and let's take a look at the activity workflow to see exactly what's going on under the hood here. So we can see here that our first activity is a review activity and it requires us to approve the new user request. Again, this particular activity has an automatic approval which is why it's since been completed. So if we do, do another refresh here, we can see that our second activity, which is onboarding the new user, is currently in progress. So what's happening here is Service Manager is reaching out to System Center Orchestrator and kicking off a series of run books to, as I mentioned, perform the tasks to onboard the user. And once those tasks are completed, what should happen is that the user's manager, in this case myself, Justin Hansen, should receive an email with that user's username and password. Once that information is received, I'll then be able to hand that off to the user upon their arrival. So in a moment here, I should receive an email. And we can see here that I have received the email. And we can see that the user Ryan Frost has been added to your analyst group. The new member will be located in the New York office. And here's the user's username and password. So just to demonstrate that this user has in fact been added to Active Directory, we should be able to find him in here if we search his name, Ryan Frost, and open up his account. Just to take a look at that, we can see that the office is New York. He has a valid email address. And if we flip over to the Organization tab, we can see that Justin Hansen is his current manager in the IT Operations Department. Great. So why don't we take a look at his mailbox just to verify that Ryan is in fact able to log in and to demonstrate uh, Ryan receiving the particular documents necessary um, while onboarding new employees. So we'll go ahead and log in here. Of course, we wouldn't typically log in for Ryan on his behalf. This would be performed by Ryan himself. Um, so that he can select the necessary time zone and language. We'll go ahead and save that information. And we are now in Ryan's mailbox. We can see that he has privacy, ethics, and safety videos emailed out to him with links and a contact number in case he has any questions, as well as an IT training video as well. So again, this is just an example of some tasks that can be performed outside of onboarding the new user while leveraging System Center Orchestrator. I hope that this video has provided some insight into what could potentially be done within your organization and how one might save considerable amount of time and while significantly reducing the chance of error while performing these particular tasks. If you feel that this could potentially provide some value to your organization or your current process, I would encourage you to reach out to our sales team at sales at infrontconsulting.com for more information. This has been Justin Hansen with Infront Consulting Group. Thank you for watching.